You can use the Trim and Extend tools to trim or extend one or more objects, such as a wall, a line, or a beam, to a boundary defined by another element. To understand these tools, first start the Wall tool. Make sure that the Chain option is cleared, and then draw three parallel horizontal walls, a vertical wall to the right of these, and then one more wall at an angle of about 60 degrees. The Trim and Extend tools are located on the Modify ribbon in the Modify panel. Revit provides three related tools, Trim Extend to Corner, Trim Extend Single Element, and Trim Extend Multiple Elements. Use Trim Extend to Corner first. When you click the Trim Extend to Corner tool, the cursor changes to include a special icon so that you can see that the Trim Extend to Corner tool is active. In the status bar, you can see that Revit is prompting you to select the first line or wall to trim or extend, and Revit is also telling you to click the part that you want to keep. Click to select the angled wall. Then move the cursor over the vertical wall. As soon as you move the cursor over the wall, you can see a preview alignment, indicating how Revit will extend the walls. When you click to select the vertical wall, Revit immediately extends the two walls until they meet at a corner. Realize that the Trim Extend to Corner tool remains active. Click to select the upper horizontal wall. Then, move the cursor over the vertical wall. Again, you can see a preview alignment indicating where the walls will meet. But remember that Revit told you to click the part of the wall that you want to keep. So, when you click the vertical wall above the preview indicator, Revit keeps that portion of the wall. If you click the wrong portion, you can simply click Undo. Once again, the Trim Extend to Corner tool is still active. Repeat what you just did. Select the horizontal wall, and then move the cursor over the vertical wall. But this time, click the vertical wall below the alignment indicator. The Trim Extend to Corner tool only works with pairs of objects and the objects will always be extended or trimmed to form a corner. If you want to trim or extend multiple objects, or if you want to form T intersections rather than corners, you must use one of the other Trim Extend tools. Click the Trim Extend Single Element tool. Again, the cursor changes to include a Trim Extend Single Element icon, and in the status bar, you can see that Revit is prompting you to select a reference as the Trim or Extend boundary. Click to select the vertical wall. Then, Revit prompts you to select a line or wall to trim or extend. When you move the cursor over the middle horizontal wall, you can see a preview alignment. And when you click to select that wall, it extends to form a T intersection with the vertical wall. Realize that the command remains active. Click to select the angled wall as the boundary wall, and then click to select the middle horizontal wall. Now the horizontal wall extends to the angled wall. Again, the command remains active. Click to select the vertical wall as the boundary wall, and then move the cursor over the middle horizontal wall. Before you click, remember that you need to pick the part of the wall that you want to keep. If you select the wall to the left of the vertical wall, it keeps that part of the wall, and the rest of the wall is trimmed off beyond the vertical boundary wall. If you want to trim or extend more than one object to a selected boundary object, then you'll use the Trim Extend Multiple Elements tool. Click Trim Extend Multiple Elements. 
Once again, the cursor changes. Now it includes a Trim Extend Multiple Elements icon. Again, Revit prompts you to select a reference as the Trim or Extend boundary. Click to select the angled wall. Then, Revit prompts you to draw a selection window or pick individual elements to trim or extend. With this tool, you can select multiple elements without having to start the tool again. Each time you click an object, it is extended to the boundary object. When you select the upper horizontal wall, it is extended to the point at which it would meet the angled wall if the angled wall was longer. Click Trim Extend Multiple Elements again, and then click to select the vertical wall as the boundary. Next, draw a crossing window to select the horizontal walls and trim them back to the vertical boundary wall. Remember that you need to select the portion of the object you want to keep, regardless of whether you click to select or use a window selection. Revit will then trim off the portion of the wall that extends beyond the boundary.